En bleu pour le Japon, le vice-champion du monde, Aluyama Zoshiro. Et en blanc pour le Kazakhstan, Guzman Kyrgyzbaev. The number three, next contest, the first round, women under 57 kilo. I2 from Uzbekistan, Nikufar Erwa Gambekova. I1 representing Latvia, Anastasia Sukhinyanska. Arasha! ジャクス、よいよ上昇組際な組際しっかり見とこう。ジャクス。ジャクス、くすばるジャクス。ポットな。Vainqueur, tapis numéro 2, en bleu pour les Émirats Arabes Unis, Fayanmouk Narmanda. Prochain combat sur le tapis numéro 2, second tour des nationales de 66 kilos. En bleu pour l'Allemagne, Martin Fetz. En blanc pour le Tadjikistan, Emomali Nouali. Ortada ta mangrus Ortada Jackson, 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 Jackson,
Santos! いよいよ組めてきた組めてきた。やるめこん。あらしょ。はいどうしろここからここから。行っていいよ行っていいよ。行っていいよ。ダビッドはゴールスコア。Да, да, дышим, 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 дышим. Дышим. Яксы, дышим. Форвард.
bien mon gars, c'est bien, c'est bien, c'est bien. Garde bien l'initiative, garde bien l'initiative. Poste combat sur le tapis numéro 2. Se présente en bleu pour l'Allemagne. C'est bien mon garçon, très bien. Balay, 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 on comme ça. Ozem Yelis. Reste une attaque, reste une attaque, reste une attaque C'est bien Walid ça C'est très bien C'est très bien Balay Balay quand tu fais ça Balay quand tu fais ça Sur le tapis numéro 2, en bleu pour la Magne, Seiya Alhaus. Le tapis 3, le winner in white, Jutogi from Sweden, Tara Bamulfat. Troisième combat sur le tapis numéro 2. Troisième tour des masculins avant de 66 kg. En bleu pour la République de Corée. Le vice-champion olympique de Rio, médaillé de bronze à Tokyo, Anne Paolo. Et en blanc, athlète neutre individuel, Ismaël Mission. La dame est next. Second round contest for the women's under 48 kilogram category. In blue from Turkmenistan, Kurbanay Kurbanova. In white from Mongolia, Bandolur Chipapasafu.
Golden score. Garde bien l'impact Allez aussi Garde bien l'impact Allez Allez mon garçon Allez C'est bien ce que tu fais Walid, c'est très bien ce que tu fais
Reste, 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 tranquille. Tranquille, Walid, 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 Walid. Tapin numéro 1, vainqueur, en bleu pour le Japon, Aruyama Tsushiro. Ladies and gentlemen, the dummy one is back for the quarterfinals. Men under 66 kilos. Sur le tapis numéro 1, premier quart de finale, catégorie masculine, moins de 66 kilos, se présente en bleu pour le Japon, le vice-champion du monde, Maruyama Toshiro. Et en blanc pour l'Ukraine, le tenant du titre, vainqueur ici même l'année passée, Bogdan Yadov. The dummy four, the winner of the quarterfinal, invites to the new from Japan, Takeoka Takeshi. Takeoka goes to the semi-final. Garcia Torneo of Spain will be in the repechage. Thank you. 
Right, coming up next, the final of the under 66 kilo category. Maruyama Joshiro of Japan goes up against Takeoka Takeshi of Japan. Let's take a look and see how the two athletes got to this point. Basile, Kyrgyzbaev, Kaya, Iadov and Arn were defeated by Maruyama. It was 
Balajashvili, Batokto Gershev, Garcia Tone, and Yondan Perenli, who were defeated by Takeoka on his route to the final. Referee in, referee in the middle for this one is Matthew Bataille of France. It'll be Maruyama in the white Jarogi, Takeoka in blue, and with commentary on this final, here's Neil Adams. Neither one of these have had a, an easy route through, have they? It's not been easy. They've had to graft a little bit, and that means that they've had to adapt. I'm hoping that they don't just cancel each other out, these two, with the Kumakata, and that uh, they have an open open match there. Ho hopefully, we're going to see some good technique. This man we know can throw. Yeah, if anything, I'm going to go with Maruyama as having had the harder or more, more difficult of the two draws, to be, to be honest. I mean, he started off in his opening contest with the former Olympic champion, albeit at 66 kilos, Fabio Basile. And he followed that with the world medalist, Guzman Kyrgyz Bayev, you know, and then the home favorite, Walid Kaya. So there was plenty going on for him. Bogdan Yadov was no pushover either. That was in the quarter-final. Yeah, I'd be interested to know what's going through their minds, whether it's selection, world championship selection or not. Because uh, it's probably that they're not going to double up in this category. And they have doubled up in 66s before the Japanese, but uh, that was a nice one there. Takeoka <laughs> opens up the account. Now, I think that's a really good point Neil where would you do your doubling up you can take nine so you, if you take a full team that's seven where do you put for men yeah, and then the same men, for the women and same, same for yeah, women yeah, yeah. where do you put the yeah. the other two and if the Japanese are you know sold ready on Abe then they give one shot in the under 66 is to someone else. They're going to have two heavyweights, aren't they? And so if, that's yeah. one of them gone. And if they're developing, you know, a, a heavyweight and they really need to work on someone, as you yeah. say, one of those is gone. One yeah. spot's gone. Yeah, yeah. He did a one-handed Uchimata, caught the sleeve on, as he was going over. His opponent was going over, Mariyama. <laughs> it was uh, quite unique. For Uchimata, anyway. Beautiful Uchimata there from Takeoka. They say if you get caught, it's your own technique. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a knack, don't they, of fighting each other well, uh, the Japanese, because of, it's the same balance, same uh, stance, good kumakata. Slightly um, experimental from Takeoka, yes. wasn't it? Well, we, we look what we saw in Portugal. We saw quite a few Uranagis and different pickups, didn't we, from the uh, Japanese? Giving him a chance there to get anywhere near that Uchimata, Takeoka. Not giving Mariama a chance. 
thing is with Uchimata as well, you need the line of entry. Quite sure what they were chanting there. <laughs> now, opportunity. Not giving him uh, just that millisecond to, to settle to be able to blast in for the, the YouTube matter. But then we've seen him change as well, Mariama. Switched it to the right, Sodi Surakomigosh. It's his second two technique, isn't it? But he's got the Sodi as well, so he's got three. Did we just see him do Tomanagi? I thought we saw him do, do Tomanagi. That's... Someone avoided it. Mariyama just just about going ahead on initiation of the technique. The danger there, Mariama. Well, again, he goes for the uh, Kosoto stroke Kataguruma. Yeah, Mariyama's seen that, hasn't he? Yeah, felt it as well. Interesting, isn't it? As a form of defence, you know, uh, people would look at the Uchimata of Mariyama and, and then look at how to, to maybe avoid it. But uh, with Takioka here, you can see that he's just, his body's not in the right line of fire for it and he's managing to block it out, uh, as uh, Nikki said earlier about with the hips. Good stance. Uh, wasn't a strong attack there, was it? If, if one at all <laughs> yeah. gets away with it, huh? Maybe um, Matthew Bantai was looking at just how strong a block Mariyama offered, but I'd like to have seen an attack to block first of all. <laughs> I didn't really see one.
first switch that we've seen from Mariama. I wonder who these two warmed up with, whether they've got sparring partners with them. to cancel each other out. Yeah. Oh, now then, that might, that might just be it. And I think uh, Takeoka has stolen it, taken him backwards. They're having a little look at it. I'm hoping That's that we it. can do the same, yeah. but they've uh, given it to Takioka. Well, I'm not going to say it was against the run of play, but uh, certainly he did well, didn't he, to absolutely block any line of attack from Mariama. And way into the golden score period as well. And then does a Georgian technique. 